What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel where today we are going to be examining a quote from the Star Wars Bloodline novel that I found to be really interesting and revealing when it comes to Leia and the way she viewed Anakin Skywalker after his death. As we have discussed many times, Leia had no love for her biological father. She despised and resented Darth Vader for the things he'd done both to her and to the rest of the galaxy. She was truly, deeply scarred and haunted by her interactions with him and by the shadow he casted long after the Empire's fall. Despite the obvious differences between Leia and her father, however, there are also some noticeable similarities in their personalities. Obviously, Leia never fell to the dark side like Anakin or even came close close to using her power in the way that he had used his, but he was still her father, and his traits did show themselves more often than Leia would like to believe. Most of the time, Luke and Leia displayed only the good qualities of Anakin Skywalker, but sometimes his darker tendencies peeked through as well. And one such instance is covered here, in a moment of extreme frustration for Leia, where her anger actually causes her to relate to Anakin in a way she had never done before. So what's going on during this time is Leia has lost pretty much all of her political power after being betrayed by her friend, who told the Senate that Darth Vader was her father, which then allowed that information to spread around the galaxy. But Leia sort of comes to forgive this friend after he apologizes for his actions, and after he makes it clear to the corrupted senators who are conspiring to facilitate the rise of the First Order that he has no intention of joining them or helping them, he ends up being framed by them for some very serious crimes, arrested, and taken away. Leia catches up with him just before he is about to be taken off world for trial, they get their final words in, and then he is taken away. And the following quote explains Leia's thoughts in those helpless moments. In that instant, her anger rose to a nearly uncontrollable fury. If she'd had a blaster, she might have fired it. Her rage could have driven her to kill others, innocents, just to make sure Ransom Kasturfo didn't have to die needlessly. She realized then something she had never fully understood before. She'd always wondered what had led her father to turn to the dark side, to become Darth Vader. She'd imagined it came from ambition or some other venal weakness. Never had she considered that the turn might begin in a better place, out of the desire to to save someone or to avenge a great wrong. Even if it led to evil, that first impulse might be born of loyalty, a sense of justice, or even love. Had it been like that for her father? She could never know, but for the first time in a very long while, she had some sense of who Anakin Skywalker might have been before his fall, and of the goodness that must have survived in him through all the darkness, all the years. So, the immediate takeaways from that excerpt for me are, first of all, wow, we knew Leia had some fire in her, but those are some serious Anakin Skywalker-like thoughts. To feel as if she could kill innocents is pretty dark, even if the thought was born out of an impulse to attain justice, which, as Leia sort of thinks about here, is similar to what happened to her father. It's interesting to see how, despite the fact that Leia knows virtually nothing about Anakin's fall, she feels some of those inklings of anger that ultimately sent Anakin spy spiraling out of control. Now of course, thinking about doing something and actually doing something are two very different things, and that makes all the difference in the end, but to read about Leia having such violent feelings is pretty eye-opening to me. And we actually see Luke have an even more serious and consequential moment like this with Ben Solo, where he actually ignited his lightsaber and had an instinctual thought of striking his nephew down to protect the rest of his family. And that begs the question, if Leia did have a blaster in this moment, would she really have used it? Luke had his weapon in his moment of failure. Leia did not, and so we'll never know. Regardless of whether or not Leia would have acted on that initial impulse, I don't think she would have ever walked the dark path that her father did, but she could certainly have made a mistake that would cost her a whole lot like her brother did, and given the way the galaxy was already looking at her at this time, things could have gotten pretty ugly for her. And then, the other piece that I'd like to just focus on for a moment, and I sort of already mentioned this, is how little Leia knows about about Anakin before his fall. This is something we pretty much knew to be the case because there aren't many ways for Leia to learn about Anakin even if she wanted to, and more importantly, I don't think she ever really did want to. But in the past, we've talked about how Leia viewed her birth father and whether or not she would ever forgive him, and the reality is that Leia essentially only knows her father as Darth Vader. She knows that he was once Anakin Skywalker, but she doesn't know very much at all about what kind of person Anakin was, which makes it even less likely that she would sympathize with him enough to 
to forgive him because she can't really relate to the good man he once was, at least outside of very rare instances like the one that we're covering right now. And like I've said in the past, I am by no means saying that Leia should have forgiven Anakin or that he deserved any love or sympathy from Leia whatsoever, but I just think the fact that Leia has virtually no idea who Anakin Skywalker was aside from a powerful and conflicted Jedi Knight is an interesting point to highlight and to keep in mind when analyzing Leia's feelings toward him. But on that note, I am going to wrap this video up here, so let me know what you guys think about this reading from the Bloodline novel in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like to support the channel before you go, subscribe to the channel if you are new, have a great day or night wherever you may be in the world, and remember, the Force will be with you always.